Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. We've got a new Windows 10 build to look at. This is 15019 for PC. There's no mobile video this um, no mobile build this time or mobile video either. And uh there's a few changes, mainly around gaming stuff actually, and uh, a couple of edge changes. So let's have a look at those. Well, the first thing is there's uh Xbox features are built into this in the way of uh, Beam streaming. Beam is a game kind of streaming service. So I fire up Minecraft and um, I can do Windows G to open the gaming bar. And you'll see we've got this new option here to uh, broadcast this uh, game, uh, which works with Win32 games and um, UWP apps as well in modern games. So let's. Uh, Let's play a game, and we should see the option work soon. It works most of the time. Oh, there you go. It's it's working on there. So let's broadcast that, and away we go. So that's now streaming this game live on Beam. And so that's a nice feature built in, really simple to get going. And um, it seems to detect when things are using the graphics, uh, even on Win32 games. So um, it just works, and that's pretty good. Like I said, sometimes it... it it didn't, it came up, failed to uh, stream, but that's, like you see, it's working away now, so I can play Minecraft, and this is what anybody on my channel would see, which I think is really good, and nice to have it all built into into the gaming bar. In fact, uh, for gamers, there's a new section in the settings, which I can show you on here. Uh, if I go to the main settings, there you see the new game section, you can create your own shortcuts on here. You can um, you can set your DVR settings for recording games, so you can record them. You can have them always record that kind of thing. And you've got uh, your broadcast settings and the new game mode. So the game mode seems to be where uh, it optimizes Windows performance for the game. I'm not going to enable this now because it seems to mess my recording up a bit of the of the screen. But um, the idea is that you can put it into game mode and you can set that uh, set that up for an individual game or games, and it optimizes the power and the uh, usage of Windows for the game. So that's a uh, game mode in there. Uh, in addition to that, they've uh, Windows Game Bar improved with full screen support for a selection of uh, games including the FIFA games uh, um, Guild War 2, Battlefield 3 and Call of Duty and so on so you can find the full details in the, the show notes so another change is to EPUBs books, those are the electric um, book format that uh, Edge now supports you've got a read aloud mode and uh, you can see you can get it to read Introduction. The, the books aloud. This ebook is for anyone whose responsibilities uh, include training people to use Windows 10. So, um, Most of all, nice it's way of sort of uh, reading aloud books. Uh, it only seems to work with EPUB book formats. It didn't seem to work on PDFs. Some of the other changes are um, they improve what they call the out of box experience. So that's the setup when you get to uh, do a new setup of Windows 10. Uh, so including the better way of signing in for Wi-Fi and the uh, Microsoft account and Windows Hello and sort of rolling all that out. Um, another change is the blue light setting. It's now not called blue light, it's called night mode. Uh, let's go back to my display settings, uh, which makes more sense. If you, uh, you know what blue light is, you know it's uh, that is where it reduces the amount of um, blue light on the screen. Uh, which is supposed to be harm, harmful for you at, later at night when you, as you're getting ready to sleep. So it gives it a nice tinge to it, an orange tinge to it. And uh, they've called that night light now, which makes probably sense for people who don't really know what blue light is. And you can also preview it, I think, as well. Uh, on here. There you go. Now, I don't think the recording software picks this up. But um, yeah, when you do that, it shows you what the colour temperature would look like. And it, I think it's a nice setting. Some other changes are as you're going through store updates. Um, let's see if I can get it to trigger this off. I didn't see this when I tried this the other day. Um, as you're doing app updates, supposedly the notification centre will show those. But I think... That's kind of when you're doing a sort of in-app download. Um, apps can now push their percentage notification of downloading through to that one. 
there's uh, improved high DPI. There's um, improved discoverability for troubleshooting. And there's a lot of fixes in here around uh, Microsoft Edge, Narrator. Always seems to be a recurring problem that Microsoft have with that. And so on. There's a lot of, uh, of additional minor changes. And all those are on the digitallifestyle.com. There's one known issue to watch out for. Uh, oh, there's a few known issues, but one to watch out for if you're setting that up is the downloads seems to stick at 0%. It's actually doing this on there, but it it may do it on uh, when you're installing this build, so you're on the previous build, and you get that stuck at 0 It doesn't mean it's stuck at 0 It means it's doing it in the background. Just leave it running. Uh, something else I noticed as well is now the... Um, HoloLens setting is now Comics Reality, which makes sense because I guess this is for used for other devices that are coming along that aren't HoloLens, so from Lenovo and HP and others, and that's where you'll be able to manage all that as well. So those are the main changes in this build. Um, you can see all the Windows 10 builds on our YouTube channel, right back to the very first previews, and we've got mobile videos on there as well. So thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you on the next build video.